How crazy does this sound? A gruesome vampire facial, painful leg lengthening, and a surgery to combat Tobesity, which makes fat toes thin. Believe it or not, these are becoming sought after cosmetic surgery procedures. And here with me today to discuss this and more is New York City plastic surgeon, Dr. Eric Sade. Thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for inviting me. So you have an office up in New York and you have treated many, many celebrities. Can you tell us who? We can't divulge that, I'm <laughs> no sorry. No one's listening, no one's even listening. I know, Dorothy. But you, you have a private entrance actually at your practice, which is really cool. Yes, we do. So they can do it under the radar. Correct. So, okay, some of the things that we're gonna talk about today, you know, celebrities in Hollywood, they can get kind of crazy with their plastic surgery, and so can many people as well. So some things that we're gonna talk about today are not necessarily things that you do, but we're gonna get your take on it. So a lot of women, you know, look at their thighs and they go right for the liposuction. Very, very common procedure, something that you perform, correct? Absolutely. Okay, so um, now there's a new obsession of the of the body where women think that their toes are too fat. It's a condition known as toe obesity. So Julianne Moore, I mean, she's absolutely gorgeous, but something happened to her on this red carpet. Either she needs to get this particular surgery <laughs> or she needs to fire her stylist. I don't know which one it is. But, um, you know, w w what about this surgery? Why would you maybe not recommend, you know, thinning people's toes down? Well, again, the foot is a very functional part of our body and uh, to do unnecessary surgery there is obviously not advisable. Looking at that photograph, it looks as if she needs one, one of the toes shortened actually. Well that's something also, help, right? Right, which might help it fit into the uh, open toe shoe she was wearing. But the reality is that whenever you do surgery on the toes, you get a lot of scarring, you can have a lot of swelling, and you can have chronic pain. And quite the, toe honestly, is so, the foot is so sensitive, It's right? very, very, very sensitive, Ouch. and it's always being used. I mean, I love shoes, I love high heels, mm -hmm. but I don't know if I would actually go through surgery in order to make my feet fit into them. That seems like, I don't know, I think I would probably just go out and buy some kind of Dr. Scholl's, you know, pad or, to make them more comfortable or something like that. Right, well, you can do that, you know, <laughs> I mean, obviously, it depends on... You know, your concerns, yeah. and I do agree with you for the most part. Okay, now what about women who look at these supermodels like Giselle Bündchen, for mm. example, and they see these long, beautiful legs? So some people out there are actually going through this procedure, which costs a reported $85,000 called right. leg lengthening. Right. Okay, now tell me a little bit about this, because this is really painful, and also there can be a lot of complications. Right, well, well, this was originally invented, obviously, to help uh, people with dwarfism or if they were born with very asymmetric lower extremities. Now, it, the indications are being stretched into the cosmetic world. Ouch. And again, this is a very, very, very complicated procedure. It should only be performed in a hospital under very, very sterile conditions. It involves breaking the long bones of your legs. Oh. It involves putting metal hardware inside. It involves distraction of those bones over a period of months. That could make going through an airport security pretty tough, it putting could that metal be hardware doing in there. Anything pretty yeah. tough. It's a very, very, very complicated procedure. It has a lot of risks. And again, it's something that I would strongly advise against. Well, there's actually a doctor in Florida that has done 650 of these. What, what is it about these doctors? Are they chasing the cash or they just don't have any ethics? I mean, what are your thoughts? I, I just think that there's, if there's a market out there, someone's going to fill it. And uh, what you really want to do is you want to find those surgeons who have the right qualifications right. and the right uh, hospital affiliations and uh, do your own research also. Now let's touch on another procedure which actually is not as extreme and controversial, this right. vampire facial. Right. We saw these photos of Kim Kardashian with blood spattered all over her face, her own blood, mm -hmm. and this uh, procedure costs between $1,500 and $2,500, and uh, this actually maybe has some benefits. You're basically taking blood, how does it work? You're, tell me quickly. Right, well, well essentially you're drawing some blood out, right. and then you're centrifuging it, so you're separating out the red blood cells and the white blood cells from the plasma. And then what you have, essentially, you have this product of your own blood, which has fibrin in it, and it also has these platelets, which have a lot of growth factors. So oh, the idea I is, see. right, the idea being that you re-inject your, your own tissue back into your face, and over time, not only will it act as a volumizer, but it will also enhance angiogenesis, which means the creation of new blood vessels Ooh. in the areas it's injected, and also it'll produce new collagen within the skin, so hopefully your skin will tighten as well. So once you wipe all that blood off your face, then right. you might have a nicer complexion. Okay, now let's talk about um, some of the things that you offer. So sure. you, you have something very interesting on your website, sedaysurgery.com, and that is a bridal registry. So instead of getting you know, your girlfriend uh, pots and pans that mm -hmm. she's probably never gonna use, I mean, Absolutely. I don't use mine, you, know, you can get her um, you know, lip injections or whatever it is that she might want in time for her wedding. I, I love this idea because 
women oftentimes realize that they might want to get a little something here or there for the wedding. And speaking of, I'm actually getting married in three months, and just recently I got my, thank you, <laughs> I got my engagement photos back, um, mm -hmm. and while I loved my photos, I want you to take a look. So this is one um, by the very talented Dale Benfield, and I love this photo because it captures a moment, but Oh, my eyes, I just, I look at how scrunched up they are and how bad the crow's feet are. Right. And I just think to myself, my wedding is such an important day. I don't want all of my photos to look like that. Right. And the thing about me is that, you know, I've been doing TV for six years and I've never once touched my face or the money maker as my dad calls it. Um, and which is rare, right? Absolutely. I mean, I know a lot of my peers have gotten, you know, lip plumpers and all sorts of different things, but I think, you know, I've talked about Botox f for so many years about how celebrities use it, and I think it might be time just to explore it. What do you think? Why not? I've done Botox on women as, as young as 20 years old. Okay. And again, if you do it in a very precise way, in a very uh, conservative way, you're not going to overshoot. All right. You want the normal muscles to relax, you don't want to freeze them. Well, let's Obviously, get started. In your field. Let's get started. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, but I know that if there's if it's too much, uh, I can always, you know, my, I mean, my wedding's in three months, so it has some time to kind of wear off, right? Right, absolutely. Okay. And so, if you need a little more, you can always come back and get a little touch. Okay, so touch I have up. some time. Um, now, is this going to hurt? Not very much. Okay. Okay. What we're, what we're going to do very simply is just wipe your skin with a little bit of alcohol. Okay. So we're going to get all the makeup off. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to sit this really, is not a big really deal. straight. Okay. Really relax. Just all right. Actually, I'm going to dab it. Okay. I'm instead very, of rubbing, okay? I'm very relaxed. And in this area, okay. around the eyes, what we try to do is put it subcutaneous. Okay. okay? So we're not actually going okay. into the muscle. All right. We're just going right above the muscle. Okay. <gasps> okay. All right. So I'm going to stretch the skin a little okay. bit. I try to identify where the, the uh, blood vessels are. And then I just put it in. Oh, out. Okay, that's little, not too bad. Okay, a little it's not wheel. too bad. Oh my gosh, it actually doesn't really feel as bad as I thought it was going to. I don't it. want to talk. Okay, and all right. And that's it. That's wow. one. <laughs> That's <laughs> one spot we give, and that's, that's, I the, did it. <laughs> uh, that's the main area where you need. Okay, great. I think, well, on a lateral orbit. You're going to finish me up after the show. Okay. When Celebrity Corner returns, I'm talking to reality star Melissa Gorga of Real Housewives of New Jersey and rapper 50 Cent. Oh. Welcome back to Celebrity Corner. So you saw me get Botox for the first time, and I gotta be honest, it really didn't hurt as much as I thought it would, and I have a very, very low pain tolerance. Speaking of Botox, you know those real housewives all love their Botox. And just recently, at an event in New York City, I caught up with Melissa Gorga of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, and rapper 50 Cent was there too. They doled out some advice on marriage, parenting, and more. Take a look. <laughs> September, right? Yeah. And it's called Love Italian Style. Yeah. So you talk all about the marriage and the secrets to your marriage. So what's your number one tip? My number one tip, I don't know, you know what, there's so many, but definitely if you treat your husband like like he's the king, then you in fact will be the queen of your house. And I think people need to understand that. They need to take their pride and put it away because it is about, you know, when you make your man be the king, you will be the queen. And I firmly believe that. I like that advice a lot. Um, yeah. Some people tend to think and a lot of sex. You know, men are happy when they have sex. Well, they of are. course, it is. it is. I mean, they, they want it. They're visual. They want to see you look good. You still have to shave your pits when you get married. You still have to shave your legs. It, it is what it is. Um, now, you're your dad, and there's always been kind of this ongoing story about you and Kanye West. Are you feuding? Are you not feuding? You said no. There's no feud. Um, he's going to be a dad soon. What What would your advice be for him? I don't have any advice for him. I just. That, that's something that you, uh, I guess you experience it. You learn it as you're actually going. <laughs> There's no portion of your actual life. You can, not a statement, I don't think that's one thing that could help you. you know, so, so many different, different things. Just enjoy it. And try to you know, keep people away from you. Because once they come in, they don't go out. 
Well, that was a real behind the scenes peek uh, of a red carpet event in New York City. Lots of chaos, lots of noise, photographers. It was a little tough to understand 50 Cent during the interview. And part of the reason I want to share with you is that in the year 2000, he was actually shot nine times outside his grandmother's house, once in the jaw, leaving him with somewhat of a slur that actually, and this is really interesting, gave him a different sound that helped him become a rap rapper. Talk about silver lining crazy. I promised at the top of the show that I would tell you how you can win a free bottle of Zoya nail polish in the color that I'm wearing today called Rocky, pretty blue. The first 200 viewers that visit Zoya.com backslash Celebrity Corner and enter this week's secret code will receive their very own bottle straight to their doorstep. And this week's secret code is GLAM. Again, that website is Zoya.com backslash Celebrity Corner. Thank you so much to Joss and Maine for my glam set. I'll see you next Thursday at 7.30 p.m. right here on WMCN. And check out my website for more info on our show. And also check me out on Twitter, at DorothyOnTV, and on Facebook, facebook.com backslash DorothyOnTV. Next week, we have some really fantastic guests. We're going to be sitting down with Patty Stanger from Millionaire Matchmaker. And it's an interview that you definitely do not want to miss. Have a wonderful, safe, happy 4th of July.